Terra from his side, okay. Terra flying, yeah. Probably. Terra ground, what on earth? Please hit me with a Terra Blast, thinking that you're doing big damage onto my Zorog. Absorb self Brock weakness policy! We're back. Um, another goofy VGC video where we're taking the absolutely useless Pokemon that you guys told me to use uh, from a tweet, which was like a month ago now, and trying to get a win with them in Online Ladder. Uh, if I'm not mistaken, I haven't even gotten Master Ball yet. <laughs> Oops! So I'll get Master Ball right quick, and I gotta get these wins in Master Ball. That is the point I'm trying to do. Um, we still got some interesting Pokemon on here. Uh, this will definitely not be finished today. We'll definitely have to do another video, but yeah, let's get into it. Okay, so, um, I have some interesting Pokemon on here. Espeon, Umbreon, um, Spidops, we can make something interesting out of that. Claude Sire, we can do good. With, uh, Camerupt, we were trying to use Camerupt last episode. I uh, don't think I actually got it on the video, but we used it in a battle and it was not able to pull it off. But it's really interesting. Chansey will be interesting. Everybody loves playing against Chansey. Spiritomb, Serena. We can make some noise with this, I'm pretty sure. All right, so this is what I've kind of workshopped. I have a, uh, a Barraskewda, Zorark, Veluza, and Serena are the four Pokemon that I took from the list of recommendations. Pelipper and Palafin, I felt like they could help out here a good bit. A little bit of an interesting set with uh, Choice Bex Pelipper instead. So kind of mixing it up a little bit, hoping to catch some people off guard that way. It is an Assault Vest uh, Zorark. It's gonna have a lot of bulk into it. Not me using the most cursed team to get to Master Ball right quick. <laughs> All right, and just like that, we are in Master Ball. I apologize to my two opponents that I had to take down using this absolutely cursed team with the Scarf Annihilate, U-Turn, Self-Proc, the Terra Grass, Weakness Policy, Dondozo, swap in Tatsugiri, and then have Population Bomb, Mousehold in the back. <laughs> Oops, sorry. Uh, had to get a Master Ball. <laughs> It should be quite evident that it's like a rain team, but I have a couple. I have a couple tricks up my sleeve. I have a couple tricks, so we'll see. We'll see how this goes. All right, uh, that's an interesting team. So we have the mouse ape. We have Corviknight. Very difficult to deal with all three of those. The mouse hold can even pair up with the Corviknight and just make it so difficult to remove. But we have answers. Um, Gastrodon is not something I wanted to see here at all. That's going to be a problem. Zorark needs to lead for me here. Let's do this. Make it look like. <laughs> I love this trick so much. I love it. We're going to make it look like it's Palafin. And so they're going to assume that we're going to swap out. As long as we don't have like a double knockout turn one. As long as we don't get double knocked out turn one, this plan can work. All right. Mousehold Annihilate. Don't like this at all. Never liked playing Mousehold Annihilate. Playing against it or playing as it. I know I should go Shadow Claw, but I could potentially get... Uh, I could potentially get follow me here. And don't want that to happen. So he's going straight in for the beat up. That's fine. Um, it didn't Terra, so unless he's able to KO Serena here, I think he dies. And he's got to be super. Uh, he's got to be super fast, I think, or just extraordinarily bulky. Goodness gracious! Okay. I really hope he's looking. I really hope he's looking and he's like, what the heck? Palafin gets knockoff? <laughs> Did I bring in Palafin? Would that be funny? <laughs> I love it. 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 Yep. Figured that was coming. That's a problem. I probably should have just swapped Palafin out here so that way I could have guaranteed rain to come up. Yeah, that would have been the smarter play, wouldn't it? Would have been the smarter play. Mousehold goes down real low. Rage Fist is going to come out and hit who? He hit the Zoroark. Why would you do that? I mean, I guess it makes sense, right? Because now I don't, I'm stuck with Baby Palafin. So, I mean, I guess I guess it makes sense, right? Stuck with Baby Palafin, but I do get the range. So that's good. Uh, I think Baby Palafin is worth um, terrestrializing now, I believe. I mean, right now, it really doesn't super matter, right? So like, what does he have in the back? Okay, so yeah, he has Gastrodon in the back. I am just Omega screwed. There is no 
pushing about it. For that reason, I feel like I need to do Hurricane just in case. Yeah, I feel like I need to do Hurricane just in case. Mouse hold follow me, it's expected. So Jet Punch is gonna go into the mouse hold and I would be utterly shocked if this Pelipper does not outspeed the Nihilate. I would be very shocked. Yep, Hurricane comes out, Annihilate is gonna go down. Uh, so it's a 2v2 at this point. Um, neither of my Pokemon have damage, so that's good. That is one less turn of rain, however. Chimpao, okay. No, 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 no! Wait, 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 wait! Wait, 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 wait! I wanted to see, not what I wanted to see at all. So we protect here. We have to click Hurricane. Hopefully Gastro doesn't protect, that would be nice. Ice Spinner into the Pelipper. Does not pick up. So I have to kill it here, that's my only chance. Yep, it's probably AV, honestly. Or no, it's not, it's a berry, okay, so it's just that bulky. That's fine. Ice Beam, yeah, we're dead. All right, that's fine. Uh, game one's a failure, but uh, that was funny. I had fun with that, and we can, I can get a cheesy win off of somebody in Master Ball with this. I know I can. I see an Obama Snow, a Fluttermane, and a Chi Yu, which kind of scares me. Um, the rest isn't great either. I honestly believe we lead the same here, so no fake out pressure. That's that's my goal here: is we stop fake out pressure with Serena's ability. I think this is our plan. For those who don't know, the Illusion ability picks up the illusion of the last Pokemon that you enter. So the fourth Pokemon that you put on your team, that last one that you submit, that is going to be the one uh, that it replicates or it makes an illusion of. All right, Iron Bundle, Iron Hands. So we do stop the fake out pressure here. Hopefully he doesn't realize it and goes for it. <laughs> Maybe he's like, oh, I've never played against Serena before. Uh, I think a Terra Fairy here is smart. Power Whip this bundle and probably kill it. I don't know, I'm actually gonna just Terra Fairy play rough and then it's tough, you know? I mean, we'll go we'll go for Night Slash, I guess. Nah, 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 we need to do this. This is a this is a potential winning play right here. Cause if that's a, if that's a Assault Vest, I could help us from uh, if I bring in Pelipper later so being able to knock that off would be huge um, he could potentially freeze dry this slot as well which is something I don't want to see we'll see how this goes our model does go for the freeze dry into that slot so that's a smart Terra knock off into the iron hands what was it assault vest okay power whip does hit it does land on the bundle and he's still alive is he focus Ash? Okay, that's, that's fair. That's fair. This is where I'd like to have Jet Punch. <laughs> but I don't have it. I'll charge. We live that. Kinda just gonna let Zorork die here. I chose U-Turn, but that's more so just to have... Like, if for some reason they don't target it, I can get a swap here. Because Zorak is not doing anything else on the field anymore. No items to knock off and no super effective damage to be dealt. So he's actually going to withdraw the Iron Hand. So he's only attacking with one Pokemon here. It's likely going to be... Um, ooh. It is likely going to be the bundle killing off the Zorark here, if I had to guess. Aurora Veil! Interesting! I like it. I like it. Your homeboy Iron Bundle is going to die here, though. And you know what? I seem to just realize that I have a weather setter in the back. <laughs> oh, this is beautiful. I love it. I love every second of it. Do I bring Pelipper in and then... No, I have to have Palafin and then swap it back out. That's what the plan is. I think that's what the plan is. He doesn't have a freeze-dry user anymore. He does have uh, a grass-type move that he's probably about to use. Um, this play rough should do some damage. Won't do great damage. It is half. I'm surprised. That was a crit. Okay. <laughs> See, I'm pretty sure Bomba Snows are built pretty bulky, so that would make sense that that one would... Do a little bit more. Um, still no fake out pressure from homie dude. I'm gonna double protect just to stall out the Aurora Veil. That's what I'm gonna do. Maybe, actually, I don't know. I'm faster than both of these Pokemon. How about I just play rough and then we protect this slot because he's probably gonna wild charge it. And I might not pick up with the play rough. I don't think I will. 
with Aurora Veil up? I don't think so. We'll see. We will see what happens. He could potentially wild charge that slot. So that's why I'm not in love with swapping here. Honestly, what I should have done here was swap in Pelipper for the Serena slot and then protect Palafin and then swap Serena. Yeah, I should definitely should have done that. I definitely should have swapped Serena back in next turn and then... Yeah, 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 yeah. Nope. Okay, cool. Cool, cool, cool. Fine with it. Oh, I forgot Zorok's still alive. Okay, word. Swap in Pelipper on this slot. And then we can sacrifice Zorok because getting that Palafin swap is far more important right now. And if Zorok dies here, it'd be quite nice. Honestly, even if he wild charges the other slot and Pelipper goes down, having the rain up with Palafin is more valuable than anything right now. I wouldn't, that wouldn't be the end of the world, but I wouldn't like to... If I can help it, I'd like to not get rid of one of my own Pokemon. Pelipper comes out, Rain goes up, Palafin goes out, in comes Zorark. Giga Drain. Goodness gracious! Yeah, that had to have been a crit. Oh my word, bro. Alright, so yeah, this is going to be a double KO, because I don't think there's anything that Iron Hands has that Zorark just resists. Bombasaur does lose some of its HP to a Life Orb chip. Wild Charge comes out, Zorark goes down. Not the end of the world, though. We have we have a, a play here. We have a way out. I think this is what I have to do. I think the bigger threat to me right now is the Obama Snow. Honestly, I should be protecting Palafin here and then getting some chip, but that would be ideal, but I don't know if he would double up on the Palafin here. I don't think he would. He withdrew Iron Hands. That's perfect. As long as he doesn't protect uh, Obama Snow here, I am chilling. Chiyu. Okay, no protect comes out. Keep in mind that Aurora Veil is still up, so that's not gonna do as much as I want it to. Wave crash. When there's a, when there's a wave crash, there's a way, but it's not gonna be enough, so I am gonna lose this battle as long as he clicks the right move here, which it is Giga Drain onto the Serena. Interesting. I guess he was looking out for a, a Palafin protect here, I guess. I think that was the play. What we do, bait out a protect here? Rains up for three more turns. I think we bet out of protect. One of these dudes is gonna protect right here. He's gonna Terra. Probably gonna Terra the Chiyu, and it's probably gonna be either Terra Water or Terra Grass, if I had to guess. Yep, Terra Water. Those are pick up in usage, and they're kind of annoying. I was hoping for an Obama Snow. Protect. Didn't get it. Roar Veil goes away. I guess we just Jet Punch Obama Snow. Because it can kill me. I don't know that this Dark Pulse will. It could. And with, with Chiyu's ability, it, it very, very well could. Very well could kill me right here. I was hoping it was going to be something like dumb and it was going to go for a fire move or something in the rain, but... Dark Pulse comes out. Yep, that's enough. Alright, game two loss. Alright, uh, definitely don't like seeing Chimpow Dragonite on the other side. Uh, Tingle is difficult to deal with, but I do have a full team of almost all water types. And everything I think I, ha I have can hit him for super effective. Uh, and yeah, I don't know. <laughs> I felt like he has a trick room option with Mimikyu and uh, King Gambit, but I don't know if that's a very viable strategy given the rest of his team, but I don't, I don't know. I think what we do here is, it's kind of risky. We'll lead that. Let's bring Veluza, dude. Let's do it. Let's actually do it. Okay, so he leads with Mimikyu and King Gambit. Very interesting. No idea what he's about to do. I have zero idea. I mean, I guess he's gonna try to set... Um, interesting, he's gonna try to set Trick Room. Mimikyu struggles here, I think. Struggles to stay alive from a Specs Surf. Rocky Helmet. Dang, I might kill my own Bear Scuta here with Surf. I genuinely might. Taunt? Ah, <laughs> he doesn't know. He doesn't know. Yeah, he's dead. I bet my Bear Scuta's dead as well, but that's fine. Yeah, Bear Scuta's dead, that's fine. I like Serena here. I like Serena. I know it's not going to benefit from the rain like Belooza would, but also we're in front of a very, very powerful Dark-type Pokemon. Crap. <laughs> now I have to Terra. Okay, that's fine. I'm probably, probably going to Terra anyways. I'm actually going to swap in Belooza and just potentially sacrifice it just because 
I don't need to keep hitting myself with Surf. We're going to Trasalize into a Fairy-type to resist the Kowtow Cleave that I think is going to be coming out on me. Um, I, my guess is he freeze-dries that slot, the Veluza slot, so we shall see. Terra Fairy comes out. He could potentially freeze-dry this slot, so... Okay, so we freeze-dry the Veluza slot. Focus Sash, definitely, without a doubt. Power Whip comes out. It does hit the bundle, and bundle goes down. What move does he use with King Gambit? It is a Katow Cleave. Made it work. Let's go. Okay. So he is going to force me to... Or I'm going to force him, rather, to click Sucker Punch, which is good. We can Power Whip the King Gambit here. I'm not too worried about Chim Pao taking out Serena right now. I don't think that... Okay, cool. Uh, if Power Whip lands, we kill. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Easy. Easy money, baby! Okay! Whew! Whew! We dominated. That was the key. Just leave Palafin at home. Palafin's stinky. Liquidation or Play Rough is going to hit you pretty hard here. If I were him, I would take out the Serena, personally. Super effective stab damage. Or do you want... Just regular stab, rain boosted damage. Yeah, that's what I would have done too. That's what I would have done too. I mean, this isn't over, is it? Is it, is it completely over? We still have. No, we don't have Barrascuta anymore. So. He can't hit two Pokemon next turn, though. It's impossible for him to do that. So, yeah, we're good. We're good. He can't hit two Pokemon. Make sure the rain is going to stay up here this turn. It is. One more turn of rain, is that right? I mean, I guess, see here, he could protect and then I lock into uh, Hurricane and that could be a bad thing. Ooh. I definitely don't want to lock into Hydro. What do I do? <laughs> oh. Maybe he doesn't protect. Maybe he just, let, let, let's. No, we're good, we're good. We 100%, 100% win rate right here. He Protect isn't real. Protect isn't a real move. Dang it. Dang it! That's a good play! No! No! <laughs> oh boy, oh boy. I don't know. I think this is what I have to do. I think I have to do this. Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! Please don't miss! Yes! 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 Ah, we did it! Okay. Whew. That was a lot closer than what I thought it was going to be. Alright. Okay. We good. We good. Finally got a W. Let's go to the list. Alright. We can now remove Veluza. Did Zorak participate in that battle? I don't think so. I know Serena did. We can remove Serena. Bear Askuta participated in that battle. And Pelipper is not on here, so. All right, cool. Three Pokemon off the list in one battle. Let's go. It did take three battles, but right now, that is a 1.0 ratio of Pokemon off the list per battle, so. All right, here's the super goaded meta team right now. For those who are curious, Wooper is an acid spray user. That's the main thing that he does here. Helping Hand also is super good, and Yawn can be really valuable. A lot of times what people do, and this is what you always do when you see a super weak Pokemon on the other side, you typically just don't touch it. You're just like, hey, it's not gonna do damage to me. Might as well just kill off its partner. Well, if I am able to protect my partner or able to support it in some way, then you're, you're in some ways hurting yourself. Like, I can use Yawn on a turn where you're not going to attack me and then protect the next turn, and then you're kind of, you know, you're in a little bit of a pickle. Kind of have to swap out is basically what happens. Obviously, I'm not advocating for using Pokemon that are, like, extraordinarily weak because there's no good reason to, but um, it's an option. Like, I mean, or I wouldn't even say it's an option. It's just th there's a way to play it is what, I, is what I'm trying to say. There's a way to play it. All right, uh, relatively 
sort of kind of mixed meta here. Great tusks do not scare me a ton, but Iron Bundle sure does. Iron Bundle has... Iron Bundle can hit every single Pokemon on this list uh, for Super, except for Zorark. So... All right. So the same strategy that didn't work in the first two games is exactly what I'm going back to. That's just a nightmare lead for me, honestly. Yeah, why not? I don't like it. I'm not crazy about it. But I'm stopping my... Potential... Getting killed by a Dazzling Gleam here. I do have Assault Vest. My guess is he has Choice Specs. Hydro Pump. Goodness gracious, that is so much damage. Let's go! Let's go! <laughs> Come on. Come on. Zorak, you suck, dude. <laughs> Zorak, you suck. What the heck, dude? Get out of here, bro. This is going to be a double KO. I really need to give Zorak Sucker Punch. I don't know why I didn't do that. That would be perfect here. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I just hard lose. Again. Shocker! Freeze Dry goes out. Moon Blast is about to go out as well. That's the issue. The current meta has so much speed control and so much, like, extraordinarily fast Pokemon. It's very difficult to play against. I mean, I pretty much have to click Fissure here on the bundle. And then jet punch to the Flutterman. That's all I can do. Yep. Oh! Palafin! And we hit the fissure! Let's go! <laughs> Let's go! Let's go! Hold the phone! It is not over yet! It is not over yet. Like literally, I just need to catch like somebody off guard who doesn't understand Zorark's ability or is not like taking it into consideration or something. Interesting. Ahem. <clears throat> Terra from his side, okay. Terra flying, yeah, probably. Terra ground, what on earth? Please hit me with a Terra blast, thinking that you're doing big damage onto my Zorark. Absorb self proc weakness policy. He's gonna use earthquake now. That's crazy. Bro, that's crazy. Oh, that's crazy, dude. Plus two Earthquake has to kill Zorark. There's no way. Yeah. Dang it, dang it, dang it. Imagine if I Terra flying there. There would have been no reason to. I wouldn't I wouldn't have ever guessed that. But hey, this kinda this kinda goes crazy now because I can just jet punch him and then he's dead. It sort of go crazy a little bit. It sort of go crazy a little bit. But surely he's going to swap out here. Well, no, he doesn't have to. Actually, no, yeah, he did. Uh, my guess is he's going to swap out and turn the turn the rain off is what I was thinking. But let's punish him if he doesn't do that. I mean, I, I, I don't really have an answer either way. He doesn't do it. Poggers. Poggers! It's probably... I didn't think about it, though. It's probably... It's probably Focus Sash, don't you think? Probably a Focus Sash Jump Pluff. Uh-oh. <laughs> Forgot about Rage Powder. Oopsies. Please kill. That'd be amazing. Uh-oh. Not amazing. So not cool. Oh, snap. Let's go. We're gaming. Acrobatics does not pick up the kill. Hey, 
Yep, I was pretty much expecting that. Protosynthesis, I'm assuming, is an attack. Yep. <laughs> My hurricane's like 50% now, but that's fine. Oh, I don't think this kills. This is my only way of doing it, though. I have to... I have to, like, make this work. It's in the sun. So. He helping hand did it. What if he dies here? What if I crit and he dies? I didn't even need a crit! <laughs> what a play! Oh, I didn't need a crit. <laughs> Uh, I don't know why I said I didn't need a crit before before the box could have popped up. I'm kind of silly. This hurricane is never going to hit. Yeah, it's it's literally a coin flip whether or not it hits now. But still, dude, uh, we're gaming. Unfortunately, I am locked into hurricane. Uh-oh. Now I really need to hit hurricane. Why is he helping hand on the... Oh, if I would have jet punched that slot, I thought about it, dude. I thought about it. I was like, why don't I just guarantee that this is a kill in case it's assault vest or something crazy? That's wild, bro. I would have won. I would have definitely won there. It would have just been... Oh, come on, dude. I don't know about definitely, but maybe I could have stalled out the sun or something. That's crazy, bro. That's crazy. I forgot I had camera up in the back. <laughs> okay. Okay. All right. Hey, I still have to click her again. That's the problem. But. I click eruption here. He goes for a helping hand again. Really, he just dark. Uh, hopefully, he dark pulses the Pelipper. Hurricane hits! Let's go, dude. Let's go. Come on. We don't outspeed. Leaf Storm. Oh, no. What? Are you serious? Oh. <laughs> oh okay. Flip a coin. <laughs> There's no way for me to stall it out. Flip a coin. I should have I protected him. Yes! <laughs> Let's go! Let's go! Woo! <laughs> oh, dude! Pelipper's the goat, bro! Pelipper is the literal goat! Let's go! Oh, snap! Oh! <laughs> it came down to a lot. I honestly, I don't know if a crit mattered on that leaf storm or not it's a neutral move base 130 i'm sure he's got a hefty special attack investment it was helping handed i don't think the crit mattered but those accuracy rolls are still insane like i had to hit back to back hurricanes to win that game the first one was a little less crucial but the fact that camera up died made it super crucial i had to i had to have hit that but i did that's crazy Bro, that is so crazy all right here we are back at the word document Camera up is Dunzo. Zorark is Dunzo. Whew. We do got some more ground to, to make up here. Still got a couple other um, couple other Pokemon to make work. Um, and we will do that in another episode. So thank you guys. Whoop, 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 whoop. Earthquake. Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure you guys leave a like and subscribe and do all those things that make my, my face smile. And yeah, also my Lechonk pin came in. I'm very happy. Okay, that's all I wanted to say. Bye!